what's going on. So if you're going to be hunting, many times you're going to be sitting, you'll have a little chair, they have a lot of uh, silent spin chairs, you're going to be inside of a blind probably, and one of the things you should also practice with your archery is practice shooting sitting down. So that's what I'm starting to do today. I'm going to practice shooting sitting down. This will be my first time doing it. Let's see how it goes. So I'm shooting. I'm at 28 yards roughly. And I'm sitting down for the first time. Still getting used to this draw weight of 65 pounds. It's not as bad as it was the first day. I've been working out. Get that upper body strength ready. Imagining myself sitting inside of my blind and I'm watching that deer come right down the path that I created with my food plot. Imagining that deer 15 yards out, 20 yards out. Now, yesterday I did a video where I sighted the top pin out for 20 yards. Now, I said, and I know that the top pin is good almost out to 30 yards before you start using your, your second pin on this five pin sight. So we'll see how we shoot today while using the first pin for the sight. And uh, if we have to adjust down to the second pin, we will. Whoa, that thing is really strong. Oh, she lives in it. That whoa, but I'm glad it didn't dry fire. Let's go see how we did. Okay, so it's low. Nice grouping. But I'll switch to the second pin to bring it up and let's see how that goes. All right, so round two from shooting in a sitting position. I'm switching to the second pin. Let's see how we go. Not a big difference in pull or form when sitting from standing. I thought it would be very awkward, but it's actually not bad. I know one thing, I've got to go get some, uh, get a battery replacement. 
for my sight here. The pins are supposed to light up. Oh, there you go. Still got a little juice in there. But I still need a battery. See how we did. Oh boy, we got arrows all over the place. Got two of them clear, one clear inside the center hole, and you can see the rest. So I'm all over the place. I'm gonna chalk that up to uh, my grip and probably jerking on one of them. I did feel pretty off on that one, but uh, okay, let's do this again, see if we can get some. Uh, tighter grouping around that center hole. I'm not going to say I felt off, but I felt a little off. I felt like it jerked. I'm already making excuses. Now, usually when I hear a sound like that, it means I hit one of my arrows. And that's usually a sign that I'm gonna have to replace this tip because if you hit those tips and they crack in any way, that's a easy way to accidentally and unknowingly dry fire your compound bow. And you don't wanna do that. You could injure yourself, it can literally explode apart and pieces come flying back and hit you in the eye or something. You can really injure yourself. Not to mention ruining a several hundred dollar or, you know, thousand dollar bow. Money down the drain for a simple accident like that. And it happens to the best of them. That was off. Let's go see what we did. I mean, eh, it's okay. I said one that's off. Like I said, I had one that really felt bad. And it must be that one that flew off high. But uh I mean I'm I'm consistently getting at least two. One inside and one touching the line of the center circle. So I can't really complain with that. The other two are not far off. You know, for a beginner, I can't complain about that. I just have to keep practicing and keep getting better. That's one thing about archery that I'm finding out is it can drive you crazy. If you're the type of person who is going to flip out every time you don't get perfect center shots, then uh, archery may not be for you because it's going to just stress you out. But it just en it encourages me to keep practicing, keep getting better, keep working on my form. And knowing that 
looking at this center uh, target that basically if I hit anywhere within that target consistently from you know 30 40 yards 20 yards if I'm constantly hitting within that target then I should have a good chance of scoring a kill shot on a deer because that's what I'm aiming at something you know about this size so I'm perfectly happy with this and just keep practicing just keeping better and that's my goal having fun all right I'm signing off calling it a day I've already worked up a sweat just shooting a few few rounds oh let me see I forgot let me check my tips here on the back nothing's cracked on any of them a good inspection I've shot through arrows broken them in half and I didn't do it on purpose if I was that good man I'd be making some money. Yep. So always remember, check your arrows because you don't want to end up having an accidental dry fire. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Simple Way Farmstead. Peace.